I want to tell you about the greatest productivity notebook I have ever found. I'm Chad Brooks, and let's get this thing going. Oh, that's my buffalo. I want to talk today about the greatest productivity notebook that has ever been made. And I realize just by saying that, it's a pretty wild claim, but the Muji A5 notebook is the best notebook I have ever used for productivity. And if you're in ministry, or if you're a note taker, or if you just do that whole game, this is the best thing that's out there. But I've got a little bit of a history with notebooks first. These are a lot of my notebooks before I discovered the Muji A5. And in here are all the ones that people have tried so many times before. You've got your classic moleskine or moleskin. I'm sorry, there's a frou-frou way people say it. I just say moleskin because that's just crazy complicated. I did, I did cheap notebooks. Those were okay. Um, I, more moleskin, you see? And I got the point. I was, I was tabbing this. I was trying to, to keep up with things. That's a really old one. Um, I have tons of these things, and they're falling apart, and they're, they're, they're labeled. This is a Piccadilly, so this was like the fake moleskin. Um, I had the, the, the Cahiers, the Cahars. I, it's, it's a complicated way to say something, but it's a, it's a notebook. Um, and you, I mean, they're, start, they're all over the place. I've got, I've got tons of these things. Um, I have to try the little ones. Um, I did the whole, yeah, here's one right here. I did the whole lit term. Lit, lit. Why do all these notebooks have complicated names? I did that. Those were better. The paper was good. And when I was in my fountain pen phase, I really appreciated it. But you see, I've just got, you know, just tons of these things. But what happened was... The black notebook, you know, this notebook, it was a little bit too big for me. Um, I wanted something that I could do a little bit more grab and go, and then honestly, it didn't look so pretentious. I really liked using these things, but honestly, they were a little too expensive. Um, and they were just kind of hard to get, that, but it was almost there. I liked that a lot, and that made me start thinking about another notebook. I rocked these things for a long time. It was bigger and it was it was handy. Um, that was there, so I went through several. I did the black version of them, several revisions of that. And you can see, I always like to kind of customize and write stuff on them. I mean, these were super helpful. These again, especially when I was in grad school, though. I mean, this thing was was way too expensive than I could afford. And so going through the notebook game. Now I got into the Rodias, and I'll tell you what, I like the Rodias, the paper in the Rodias was fantastic. Um, I tried spiral bound. I kind of flirted with that for a little while. I even had some other fancy one and a, a, a leather binder, that kind of a thing. Uh, that was pretty cool. But I was searching and searching and searching until one day I was reading an article on a life hacker and it was about how Ira Glass worked. And he mentioned, and I'll link the article below, he mentioned this Muji A5. Now, I'd heard the Muji name before because I was a fountain pen nerd and a paper nerd. And I'd heard people talk about how their paper was good. And now here is Ira Glass, the podcaster, talking about it. And one of the things, he, I think he said, like, like they created great filing systems. And I'm a little OCD. I'm a little paranoid um, about keeping my information, which is, you can see, all these notebooks I had. That was, And here's the thing. That was for only like maybe four years. And those are all full. So I bought a five pack of the Muji A5 notebook. And let me show you how many of those I have now. I've gone through one box. That's the box where I file very specific notebooks. Then I have this notebook. This is where I file all the Muji's I have gone through, and a couple extra, no, this, this is supposed to be in that box, it's not a Muji A5. Um, that's all of the devotional reading I have done in the last few years. But what I really do a lot, and what I like, is every month I crack open a new, Moji, a, a new Muji, 
for my date book. And that's where I organize, I calendar, I do my to-do list for the day. And I have this many Muji A5 notebooks from that process. And I bet you there's another 20 floating around the house in drawers and such that I don't know where they are. So the Muji is the perfect notebook for productivity. And this is why. It's small. It has good paper. It's relatively thin. It only has like, uh, I think it has maybe 48 pages. So it's almost perfect for some sort of a monthly book. Uh, it's one of the reasons I like it a lot. Um, it fits and it looks good. So you can write stuff on the outside of it and you can let people know what's going on or where things are. Um, I love its size. It's been very, very durable. I have never destroyed one of those, which is unique because I have a tendency to destroy everything. About half of the notebooks in that first box that I dumped out have been taped up, have been rebound. I had to do some sort of major surgery on them uh, at any given point in time uh, during um, its, its normal usage. And so I've got these things for all sorts of stuff. This is my date book for this month. Uh, this is a journal I'm keeping right now about a particular place I am in life. And I typically carry them like this. Before I show you, let me set up my overhead camera. I set them up in a traveler's notebook. And I'm going to do an entire video on how I set up my traveler's notebook. So get excited. Don't get excited. It's coming. You can enjoy it. Wait on. All right, so my Traveler's Notebook is set up. I got this off of Amazon. I will link to it down below in case you want to go get one of these. But I can hold four Mujis in this thing uh, pretty well. And I've actually gotten five in here before, but it, it made writing a little bit difficult. But the, what I run in my Traveler's Notebook every single month, um, I've got my devotional notebook that I'm running through. I've got, here's, here's Marsha's day book. It's been, I've had some health concerns this month. I've been at home a lot. I'm wearing sweatpants right now. So my April book has just been loose and rock and rolling that way. I've got a miscellaneous notebook, which I find pretty helpful. And then I've got a, a random scripture notebook, which I use for a couple of other projects. And so that's what I have in this traveler's notebook. But let me just kind of, just let me pull you through one of these things, turn into a blank page here. So these things are, they're kind of thin. You see that? They're there. The paper though is fantastic. It allows you to lay things out exactly how you want. And as cheap as these things are, if, if you're obsessed with any sort of cataloging or if you're obsessed with uh, just different notebooks for different things, the Muji is going to be a game changer for you. Now, here's the thing. I think you need to order a five pack of these. You need to think about your own system. And I'm going to tell you that because the five pack is dirt cheap on Amazon. I, I, it's like $8.95 maybe. I'll, I'll, you, you, you can't go wrong with this system here. Um, the fact that you can find a pretty cheap, like this is like a, maybe a $30 traveler's notebook. You could set up a rig to run like that and you could get into this. I mean, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna pay more than 40 bucks on Etsy for a traveler's journal for an A5. It, 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 this is the notebook. Now, this sounds kind of crazy. Uh, this sounds really fast paced and it might be because I'm tired of people asking me questions about what notebook I'm going to use. So I wanted to share it with you. So. If you like this video, uh, like, comment, and share. I'd love for you to subscribe. I love to come on here on YouTube and I share tips, I share tricks, I talk about productivity and ministry, and also just, just talk about life. So thanks so much. I'm Chad Brooks. It's been cool to hang out with you, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.